All right, welcome back. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, edit these blueprints to, instead of uh, just turning it off right away, we're going to give it a little bit of time. So we're going to set a delay right here. And we're going to say that the, that light stays on for a second when you leave the box. So you got, you can kind of create a trail. In fact, let's, do, let's, let's go crazy and let's do 10 seconds. I don't know. This might destroy Unreal. And then it'll turn off. So let's check it out. So I'm going to um, moonwalk myself backwards here and make this cool little path. You know what? 10 seconds is too long. I can see that now. It will look cool when they turn off, though. Let's watch. Yeah. Now, let's just say, let's just say one second. Let's see how that feels. You know what? I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. I'm going to say two because I really want to be able to create cool little paths. Uh, sometimes we test, see what works and what doesn't. Okay. It's like following me. I like this. It stays on. Keeps me lit up. Yeah. So we got ourselves a disco light. And uh, what's cool is that if you delete all the disco lights on your level, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. You can just go down here in your content browser now, your content drawer, and you created your own. You got your own little disco light. You can do all sorts of things uh, to it. You can go in. You can edit it. You can add uh, other components to it. If you don't like the, the actual light itself, you can change the way this looks. You can model your own. You can change the material on this. In fact, I'm going to do that. I don't like this yellow business. I'm going to change the material of it to, uh, ooh, how about chrome? Let's just go full chrome lights. How about that? That is sophisticated, sleek, modern. Let's see how it looks in our game. Now, if you hit G, you can switch between your views. And yeah, they're taking all that sunset light in. What a beautiful evening. Um, and now I'm going to just go crazy. I mean, I don't know. I don't recommend you try this at home because your computer is just going to melt, but I'm just going to, I'm going to go for it. And we crashed. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Definitely don't like it. Yeah. Maybe don't move this many things at once. Okay, there we go. And gosh, should I try it? I'm gonna do it. I wanna, I wanna just fill this thing up. We're so close. I only have a thousand right now. So, what's another thousand, right? Okay. Oh, it's hard to get that little spot right there. But you don't wanna like. Have it not perfect. I don't know, I got it. And the last one. Give it a second to catch up with us. There we go. Okay, let's hit play. So now you can see how powerful blueprint objects can be because you, you obviously you could not do this if if you were to try to do this in your level of blueprints with this many lights it would be uh, just a nightmare. So um, I think that's good for this one. And uh, until next time.